In life, the enemies you face will come in many different forms. They can come in the form of people, and unfortunately, sometimes those people may be family members. Sickness is an enemy because it attacks your health. The spirit of heaviness, depression, both those can be enemies because they attack your mind and your heart. This world and all that it has to offer can actually be an enemy because the pleasures of the world, they will harm your faith and they will try to tear down your relationship with Jesus Christ. But you see what's interesting about the enemies of life is that they come to reveal many things within you. You see, if God's word is really in you, if it's really in your heart, then that's where you'll run when you're under attack. But listen, if you're someone who has a half-hearted prayer life or just some casual relationship with the Lord, then how do you think you will react when an enemy comes up against you? Because at one point or another, we will all come up against something or someone, an enemy, whether it's visible or invisible, seen or unseen, physical or spiritual. Sooner or later, you will face opposition, whether it's someone or something that is against you. But the important thing is how will you react? David wrote Psalm 35 at a time where I believe he was up against an enemy of some kind, or at least the threat of an enemy. Because if you pay attention to his words, his plea to God, this is someone in desperate need of help and rescue. And I would like to encourage you that when you do come up against something that threatens you, turn to Psalm 35 and pray from the word of God, saying, Contend, Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up shield and armor. Arise and come to my aid. Brandish spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Say to me, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be disgraced and put to shame. May those who plot my ruin be turned back in dismay. May they be like chaff before the wind with the angel of the Lord driving them away. Dear friends, may I remind you that God is your protector. God is a shield and he can block every attack regardless of what form it comes in. It will not prosper when you're with Jesus Christ. Our Lord is a mighty fortress. That means he's a hiding place. In him, no enemy, whether visible or invisible, can touch you. So take a step back and try handing things over to God. Get to a place where you say, I'm turning this over to you, Lord. Get to a place where you say, I will not spend my life worried. I will not try to fix everything and everyone. I will trust in you, God, to fight for me. Saints, you need to know who your Lord and Savior is. You need to know that he is the author of and finisher, the beginning and the end, and he has never lost a battle. So now let's go before God together, and in prayer, let's ask him to help us to turn over to him the things that we cannot control, those things that we need to keep our hands out of, because God is the God who fights for us. Our dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercies, which are new every morning. Lord Jesus, for every enemy that comes against us, we step back and ask that you step in. Lord, for everything and everyone that stands in opposition to us, King Jesus, we step back and we stand on your word that says in Exodus 14, Verse 14, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. King Jesus, help us to be still and trust in you. Lord, help us to be still when we come face to face with adversity. Help us to be still when we are threatened by the adversary. 
Lord Jesus, contend for us. Fight for us, God. Defend us. We are not capable of fighting for ourselves. But Lord, we know that we are in your care. And so right now, Lord, we pray and ask that the Holy Spirit would strengthen our faith today. May he remind us that when the troubles of life start to overwhelm us, we have a friend in Jesus. When our problems are many and we need relief, when we need peace, I pray that the Holy Spirit would be ever so close to our hearts and remind us that we have a friend in Jesus. We have a defender in Jesus. I'm grateful that we serve a living God and you are a God who is more than able to carry our burdens. You're able to give us rest. And I know that you are the all-powerful God. There is nothing that is too difficult in our lives for you to deal with. You still move mountains and you still cause walls to fall. You can split the sea and shut the mouths of hungry lions. God, there is nothing too big for you. And for that, we are grateful. Father, I pray that you would give us the strength to rise up each day and fight with our praise. Lord, let us transfer to you everything that seeks to weigh us down. I praise you, Father, for you are the God of the impossible. There is nothing too big for you to handle no problem too great, and no challenge too difficult for you to overcome. God, you can do anything. Jeremiah 32, verses 26 through 27. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is anything too hard for me? Nothing is too difficult for you, Master. Nothing is beyond your reach. Nothing is beyond your control. And so, God, we praise you. We praise you because in the middle of our weakness, that's where you make your strength known. When we are fragile, God, we know that your grace is sufficient. Father, we stand on your word in Hebrews 6, verses 18 through 19. So God has given both his promise and his oath. These two things are unchangeable because it is impossible for God to lie. Therefore, we who have fled to him for refuge can have great confidence as we hold to the hope that lies before us. This hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. It leads us through the curtain into God's inner sanctuary. God, we declare your word over our lives. And we come in agreement with your word. Lord Jesus, you are indeed the anchor for our souls. Father, we thank you for hearing this prayer. It's in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus that we pray and we give you thanks. Amen.